Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Mornings with Moms. Lately there's been a lot of controversy of the thought of artificial insemination. So today we brought mom here who used it to get her opinion on it. Welcome Karen Walgreen. Hello everybody. So Karen, why did you choose to do artificial insemination? Well, my husband and I have been trying to conceive naturally for a while and it just wasn't happening. So we went to the doctor and they said that um, I was infertile. So um, we had to use artificial insemination to have our daughter. That's a good story. Yes. So that's your story, but the people should know that there's other reasons why people get artificially inseminated. For example, if you're a gay couple or lesbians or if... You're single? Yeah, that's a good one too. <laughs> Basically, artificial insemination can be used for anyone who is struggling to get pregnant. Okay, that's right folks. Many people think that artificial insemination is only used for straight couples, but it can be used for a diverse range of other people. So, you seem to have a very positive experience with this. Was there anything that you disliked? Well, I had a good experience, but I did see some other um, users of this treatment be treated differently than me because they didn't have as much money. I found that the doctors were biased towards them because they didn't think they had enough funds to pursue the full treatment. Were any of your family and friends surprised about how much money you spent on this? Um, yes, some of my family and friends were a little concerned that we spent so much on conceiving her that like they were worried that we wouldn't have enough money left over to actually provide for her, which is not true, but people were worried. Mm -hmm. In your case, no surrogates or donors were used, but if in another situation, if they were used, should your child have the right to know who the other parents are? Um, I think for sure that as your child gets older, they're going to be very curious who their biological slash birth parents are, and I think they have the right to know. Have you experienced any judgments from any families, friends, anyone that you know in your life? Well, my family has been very supportive. However, my husband's family did not approve because they're very religious, and they didn't like that the method that she was created with was unnatural. Why did you try so hard to have your own kid when there's thousands of other kids that need to be adopted without a home? Well, I wanted to have my own child that was genetically mine, and I wanted to be pregnant so that I could connect with the baby better, but I have nothing against adoption. From what you've told me, artificial insemination costs a lot of money. Do you think it's right that they charge so much? No, I think that um, there should be a lot more options to get insurance for artificial insemination because by the time you reach the point where you're going to go and get this, you know, advanced treatment, you're already pretty desperate so it's kind of like by forcing you to pay so much is like you're being taken advantage of because you don't have another option. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In conclusion, do you think it was all worth it and would you suggest it to other people? Yes, it was definitely all worth it because I got to have my own child when I had lost all hope. And I would recommend it as long as you um, are understanding that adoption is also an option. That's all the time we have for Karen to be on the show today. So, thank you for being on our show. Artificial insemination doesn't only exist in humans, they do in animals too. How they do this is they take the sperm of a male, and a strong male, and use it in many different females to have successful offspring. Personally, I don't think it's right because it can lead to problems in genetic diversity because it's already a natural. Thanks for tuning in and come back next week.